not panic! You're currently in a state of Ludomania, and I'm Mike the Ludomaniac. Today I will be playing Marble Madness on the NES, originally released in the arcade by Atari, now here published by Milton Bradley and Tangan, and the actual port work was handled by Rare, so a lot of companies wanted to get their slice of the Marble Madness cake while it was still hot. I forget exactly when the port itself was released. I don't think it was 1984, that was when the original game was made. And uh, the chief of Marble Madness, the primary programmer, was Mark Cerny, a prominent figure in Atari who later then went on to work at Sega of Japan, and then over to Sony to eventually work his way up to developing the PS4 and the Vita. So this is his humble beginning, and we're about to take a look at it right now. The goal, simply, is to hightail your marble through all sorts of ramps and traps, all the way to the goal line. Now, I'm choosing the 90 degree perspective, which basically has your marble move in exact accordance with the D-pad. Huh, no bonus there. If you land the hopscotch right, you get a bonus, but looks like I just barely missed. That there's the practice race, not very much effort, that's why it's called a practice. Uh, however, the timer for what you beat there is completely irrelevant to the later five stages. Later stages, if you do well on one level, then... Oh, pff. Huh. I'll be darned. If you do well on one level, then... Carries over to the next one with a time bonus. Also, that black ball tried to knock me off and... Huh. <laughs> and, uh, so much is happening at once, uh, and I totally blew that, so we're gonna go down the gullet here. Might cost me. Occasionally, and I don't know what causes it, but a magic wand will occasionally appear and grant you an arbitrary but welcome time bonus. I don't know what causes that, probably uh, gaining a certain amount of points of some sort, but oh, hey, we just barely edged the ice there. That last bit's tricky because you have very little control over the icy ground. But hey, we managed to hit it just fine, and now we have 74 seconds to beat the intermediate race. But things already tone up a fair deal in difficulty here, as we're bouncing all around right angles in this little enclosure. Ooh! Nasty spill off the ramp. It's not going to do me any favors. We also have to avoid these greed and snake things and acid puddles! Holding the A button. Increases your speed, not sure if the B button does anything. But yeah, I think the controls are adapted relatively well, despite this game not playing with the trackball like the arcade version. Wow, except for that one spill around the ramp earlier. That was unnaturally good. Well, hopefully we can use this time to beat the aerial race, which is the make or break point. Sometimes I can beat this level, sometimes it just goes completely bunko. And, uh, yeah, this is where the traps get really mean, like these large blowhorns or whatever that are trying to suck you in. And hey, I just got a random time bonus. Well, let's make... Uh, nuts. Let's try and make good use of it. Catapult. Going down the left side there leads you to a tr uh, launching pistons that are really difficult to navigate. I'm gonna go for the right path, that's much safer. Maybe a little slower, maybe a little less, uh, flashy, but since I have such a giant time lead, I figure practicality beats their devilism. Especially when you have these, uh, Armon Hammer symbols trying to foil you. But, uh, yeah, if you don't take the piston route, then that one can be beaten in a relatively quick amount of time as well. And now my personal favorite level, the Silly Race! Everything you know is wrong. I uh, like that Weird Al song, which I'm not going to quote because, um... Well, I'm sure Al would be cool with it, but, uh... In case he has any lawyers, whatever company he's on, uh, I, I don't want to cheese them off. Anyway, you can squish those little opponents there to get some time bonuses, which I will do now because I just bounce off that ramp like a fool. Uh, I think whichever one you get dumped on out, uh... Whichever nozzle you get dumped out there is completely random, and, oh... Lord, I'm stuck. Oh, Lord, I'm stuck again. Uh, shoot. Not good. Not good. Very bad. Oh, hey, this is a innocuous little rampy area. I didn't think I'd get stuck on here. But yeah, not just the fact that you're going a different way, but <laughs> it is kind of tricky to navigate through this gauntlet of 
uh, purple death birds, and of course with the t tunings in gravity that you need to account for, things are pretty weird. Although, I gotta admit, the end to that was a little anticlimactic. I thought I was going to be bombarded with more birds. But that still took a bit of a while. 26 seconds left. Now we only have 46 to finish the ultimate race. Bit of a short level, but uh, it's a nasty one. Well, it is the final one, so you know, what do you expect? Okay, looks like we have some ice patches there. And this. Oh, jeez. My performance is really starting to botch up in the finale here. Oh, just missed the acid, only to fall right off. Oh, that's not going to do. Alright, let's see if we can get through without getting iced. Oh, no, 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 that is bad. No! I cannot get through the ice patch! Oh, crap, I might lose this. Oh, shoot. No, we do not have enough time! Oh, no, I should have... I should have done this in the first place. You are an idiot, you s Oh, you bloody ball! Well, uh... We don't have enough time to beat this, I'm sure, but... The final gauntlet is a bunch of warping platforms. Ah, uh, disappointing. Just awful. Just, just terrible. <sighs> However, it would be boring if I beat that straight away. Because I see the video is only about six and a half minutes long, and uh, it's not much of a video at all. See, this game can be played through pretty quickly, so we're going to do this again, PDQ, and hope we can beat it this time. You at least saw the end, but that's not good enough by my standards. We've got to finish it. By any means feasible. I don't know where it went wrong, though. I guess the silly race just kind of went screwy. Uh, must have wasted more time there than I intended to. Well, of course, where, where it went wrong is that giant ice patch that really shouldn't have been that hard to clear in the ultimate race. I guess not having played this in a while and nerves got to me. Anyway, let's avoid the black ball, speed down here ASAP, avoid the large leapy snakes! No, 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 Okay, good. It warped me on the other side of the bridge there. Otherwise, it would have been annoying to have it go down again. Anyway, we'll take this side since it's a little safer. And no... Ugh, jeez. No major obstacles until the large ice slide here. And, oof, well, technically a fail, but we got to the end nonetheless, so... There we go! There we go. Not wanting to waste too much more time, intermediate race go. Looks like I'm working on a little less time than before, but if I don't fall here, I should have a decent amount of time to work with for the aerial race. Just have to watch out for the acid puddles. You did not watch out for the acid puddles. Bad form. Okay, just one. Just one botch there. We can certainly pick ourselves up after that. Now, there are several pathways to go here, but I think dealing with the large carpety bit there gives you the most terrain to work with, and I think is easier than the other way going around. Or at least faster. So, work with that. And, uh, you'll be able to get the aerial race at a rather decentable amount of time. Do, 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 do. That's right, giant uh, vacuum cleaners. Or. Yeah, I don't know what else you'd call those. Uh, yeah. I should probably take a different route to be a bit um, more exciting, but no, I'm gonna be a fuddy duddy and play it safe because. Yeah, what you have to do is, like, that gap in the bridge above, you have to have those pistons launch you to the other side, and it is a real pain in the doodle to time correctly. Now just trust me, it is not nice. Uh, oh, the hammers are not favoring me to- No, 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 stupid, stupid loser, you jerks! Why? D getting- uh, okay, oh, okay, uh, oh, okay. That's not going to do me much favors in the long run, but, uh, we got through it. I was starting to lose my cool there. Uh, because I think playing through this a third time might be asking a little much. Oh, hey! Uh, Random Magic Time 1 grants us a 10-second bonus. I still don't know what causes that. I want to say, as I've theorized before, it might be a score thing. It might be the closest equivalent you get to a bonus life. But yeah, I'm going to be mean and splatter all the little 
tricksters there. Uh, okay, this is the little edge I got stuck on last time. Uh, fiddled around less this time. That's good, that's good. Now we have to watch out for the bird barrage. Just roll with them. Drive, walk with traffic, so to speak. Uh, da -da 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 -da, and then up we go. Speed across this ramp. Gravity on this ramp is a little strange, but you just avoid through it. It's a pretty clear-cut path to the goal. Okay, I think we have more time here than we did last time. We should be in a better position to finish the ultimate race. Now remember, let's go diagonally straight down the ice flow. Uh, through the most obvious and clearest path, and oh, that's stupid, that's... No, that's bad, 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 bad. Okay, okay, good. Sweet. Foosh! Uh, no, not that type of foosh. Through the ice, and... Ugh, jeez. Hang on, my left arm is starting to feel a little weak in dexterity all of a sudden. Oops. Okay. Now... Just down the center, like this. Black Ball doesn't knock me away, we should be okay. And, the final obstacle! A warping maze full of shifting platforms. We have to try and... Try and very quickly attempt to... Woof. Maneuver ourselves through this peril. Don't want to go too fast in that one, though. Okay. I want to go a little faster in this one, and... Yeah! Clear with five seconds to spare! Woo! Okay, getting a little worried there. But, uh, oh, overall total score uh, at the end there, not awful. Could be better, I think uh, we could have gotten the death counter down to at least single digits. But, uh, it's enough to claim the number one high score for the time being. And, uh, I guess that's already it for Marvel Madness. Uh, Oh, this would be a rather <laughs> quick and abrupt end to the video. I mean, I played it through twice to artificially expand its life. No, no, not artificially. I did really blow it in the finale there. Um, that ultimate race is really tricky. You're probably low on time by that point, and that final uh, blinking platforms gauntlet really does take a lot of effort to maneuver in a short amount of time. But uh, that's all there is to Marble Madness. Just a very fun, isometric race that actually made for a decent NES port, if not the best, because there's no uh, trackball attachment, but I'm mostly sick of the NES games for the time being because they are the easiest to work with with XSplit. Um, unfortunately, I can't seem to use XSplit on uh, Genesis or SNES. I need to go for OBS instead. But I'll, I'll still work around that. Uh, I did produce Altered Beast, and I should probably upgrade to more 16-bit things in the future, but for now I'm sticking to familiar territory, and once again I just picked a quick game because I'm uh, fairly tired, but I still have a bit more to do before I go to bed, and it is only Monday. So, I'll just cut it now. Uh, this has been Marble Madness on Ludomania. I'm Mike the Ludomaniac. Next video will be up whenever... I get the focus and motivation to put it up. In the meantime, take good care of yourself.